<sighs> well, I'm, I'm just glad January is finally over. Blood on Hansel is a dark fantasy horror film based on the German folklore and is directed by Oz Perkins and it stars Sophia Lillis, Sam Leakey, uh, and Alice Quidge, Quidge, Quig. I'm pretty sure I pronounced, I mispronounced that. And so this movie is about Gretel and Hansel, they enter this dark word in the middle of the forest and they you know they try to find some work and food and to help their parents but they stumble upon a home that belongs to the evil witch so let me just dive right into the negatives because uh yeah the pacing <sighs> the pacing is definitely a huge problem throughout this movie i find myself waiting for anything to happen and Nothing really happens. Well, nothing interesting, that is. This movie is just Gretel walking around. There's some dark, shadowy figure in the background. Uh, turning Gretel's, you know, the turning, hearing noises, turning around a corner, and waking up from a nightmare. And there's some bloody and disturbing imagery, like, you know. And because of this, as a result of the pacing, I find myself bored. I, you know, like I said, I'm just waiting, waiting for something to happen. And uh, I was, I yawned like, I don't know how many times, like maybe three or four times. The script wasn't that good too. The script of the screenplay, yeah. That's another thing I had an issue with. Okay, but I talked about the negatives, so. What about the positives? Any Are there any good stuff in this movie? And there's a few. There's a few. Um, I would say when it comes to the acting and the performances given here in this movie, you know, Sam as Hansel, Sophia as Gretel, and then Alice as uh, the witch. I would say my favorite performances out of all those three characters would be the witch. Actually, yeah, it is the witch. Maybe there's just something about, you know, the witch that I was really interested in. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe there's something about the the witch that I liked. Maybe, maybe it does have to do with Alice's performances. Another good thing about this movie would be the atmosphere. I did like the atmosphere. The lighting of different you know, of different settings, you know. The, I did get I did get a lot of horror vibes and a lot of horror elements. So yeah, that's another good thing. You want to know something real funny? I was the only person in the auditorium. Like the the entire room, the entire auditorium was empty. I was the only one watching this movie. That is until a couple minutes later into the movie where this couple came in and then there was like these two people in the back. Um, <laughs> but uh, nah, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And with that, I am done <laughs> with my review for Gretel and Hansel. Um, probably the shortest review if I've, I've ever done, maybe, possibly. But uh, if you've seen Gretel and Hansel, I don't think I'm missing anything. If you've seen Gretel and Hansel, let me know if what you think about it. Um, not the worst movie, not the worst January horror movie. I mean, out of th this and The Turning and then The Grudge, this is probably the better one, even though it's still not good. But it's better out of all those three. Um, but anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share this video, do all that great stuff, and I will see you in my next video.